Hey everybody, it's Matt Shu from Upright Health, and I'm here today with my buddy Josh Hash. So rest. And today we are talking about static stretching, whether it's good for you, whether it's bad for you, whether you should be doing it, whether anybody should be doing it, mm. whether nobody should be doing it. Good questions. Uh, right? So stretching in general comes up uh, in a lot of discussions all over the internet. Some people say you shouldn't be doing stretching, doesn't do anything, all that kind of stuff. Today we want to talk about static stretching because of an email that I got from Jared, who's an FAI Fix user. He had read somewhere that uh, more active styles of stretching where you're using contract and relax are much more effective and that static stretching might actually be uh, counterproductive. And so he wanted to get uh, our opinion on that. So the claim that static stretching is counterproductive, what do you think, Josh? I think no. I, I don't think it's counterproductive. I think to... it's counterproductive. <laughs> I don't, that's true. Uh, I, I think it's not counterproductive if your goal is to um, become more flexible or uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, relax a muscle, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stretch a muscle. <laughs> <laughs> um, if that's your goal, then I don't think it's counterproductive at all. I don't see how it could be, right? Right. I think uh, I think where a lot of people start feeling like static stretching is not that useful is because. Uh, it seems like from individual to individual, there can be some difference in what happens when you're doing those stretches. Like some people can do static stretches and they get noticeable gains in mobility pretty quickly, where some people don't. And so if you're doing something like static stretching for, you know, you're doing this for weeks and weeks and weeks, you keep trying to stretch the hamstrings and nothing happens, uh, you're going to get the feeling like maybe static stretching just doesn't work at all because of your personal experience, right? Right, right. And I, I think this idea that uh, static stretching is, you know, sometimes people will say it's bad for you. I think, um, well, Josh, you, you had a really good point about that um, relating to gymnastics, right, and gymnasts. Yeah, yeah. Was, um, I think gymnasts have been doing static stretching since the beginning of, gymnastics right the beginning of time i think the beginning of time primordial gymnasts <laughs> yeah yeah gymnastics was created before much of our civilization was and <laughs> they have been um, static stretching for years so uh it's you know it's something that is proven to create more flexibility and create more range of motion uh in your body right so uh it's hard to disprove something like that Right. Yeah, I, I think. Um, I mean, definitely. If, so, if, thinking about gymnasts, for the gymnasts for whom static stretching really works, it's very clear. Just seeing so many gymnasts do static stretching, that it it can work. Right. Right. But you know, I've definitely noticed with my own body, there are some things that uh, I'll reach a plateau doing static stretching, mm -hmm. and I need to do more active kinds of stretching in order to improve the range of motion and improve mm -hmm. my control. So I, I right, mean, right, right, and you've seen that with your own. Yeah, that's a, that's a great point, right? Is um, I think static stretching can take you so far, um, and then there's other things that you can implement to gain more control of of that range of motion that you've created through that static stretching, basically, right? Um, so you know you might need to do more things around static stretching. Actually, you probably will need to, right? We need right. strength, um, but static stretching is good for what we're trying to accomplish in that and that is you know lengthening a muscle or maybe not lengthening, lengthening right? but <laughs> relaxing and gaining more range yeah i, I think um, one other piece of this that's uh, helpful to keep in mind is if you're somebody who's just starting to try to build mobility um, a lot of times getting into um, more active styles of stretching can be a little too challenging uh, so some people's uh, internal sense, their proprioception, their ability to, to even sense their body and, and then even control their body um, is not quite there yet to start doing things like contract your quads right. and only your quads and then contract your hamstrings and you know having to do that kind of um, that kind of mental work, that cognitive work to try to fire up this and then fire up that and you know it's effective but when you're a beginner, that might be really, really, really difficult. And you are probably, for a lot of people, just better off starting off being able to even feel the muscle by doing something like a simple static stretch, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like 
totally. Like we, we work with a wide variety of, wide variety of people and um, some people are just really stiff and they have no idea what's going on in their body. They can't right. feel their body. So for them, how are, yeah, how are you going to tell, I need you to contract your hamstring in this position. No, you're just going to get them to feel, oh, wow, this thing on the I back of my leg. <laughs> <laughs> right, I have a hamstring, this is it, and it feels not good right now because it's really tight and we're trying to stretch it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think um, from that perspective, you know, static stretching can help you just build that basis of proprioceptive sense. It can definitely help you gain some range of motion. Is it a perfect type of stretching? Is it the only type of stretching you, you need to deal with? Probably not. If you're going to be doing, um, if you're going to be really trying to push your flexibility, you probably have to do more active styles of stretching. And, you know, it's something that we do even mention uh, in the FAI Fix. We mention in a lot of our programs and a lot of our videos. You want to make sure that you are gaining control and not just kind of loosey-goosey stretching everything out, right? Right, right. It's just a tool in the toolbox yeah. to gaining control of your body. Yeah. So short answer, do some static stretching. If it's helping you and working, keep it going. If you're hitting plateaus, then you start thinking about other types of stretching. You start thinking about more active styles of stretching that help you gain better control over the, uh, the joints that need to uh, allow the mobility to achieve the positions you're trying to get. So hopefully that helps you guys out, and we hope you remember that pain sucks. Life shun it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more great videos on ways to help you get healthier, stronger, and more flexible.